Hello website, this is Fahad from Future Phones and today I have a HP laptop that I, I was repairing and uh, during this repair um, there was uh, an issue with the battery so I thought it's best to clear our logic behind uh, how to check if our battery is okay, our board is okay, shall I go for a new battery, uh, is something wrong with the board? So there is always a confusion. So this video is about this problem and the board is uh, this is a gun type board HP DV6 is a quite old laptop not not very frequently uh, we get these boards to repair now sometimes we get these boards to repair now but it's uh, it, it is so simple I mean when I was looking at this board I thought you know it's best to share with you guys and uh, because the logic of the charging circuit is so clear on this one so i thought uh, if if we have a clear logic uh, on this board then the rest of the boards they are almost like same um, with some variation obviously but uh, if you get the basic idea um, how to find out if your battery is really faulty so uh, what i've done now this board is right now i don't i have not connected the ram the cpu is connected now if you see i am connecting the charger it's a dc supply is set to 19 volt and 5 amps so when i connect it you see we have a white light here okay you can see there is a white light now next thing i'm going to do is uh, i will connect this battery this is uh, I suppose this is the faulty one and we will see how it behaves so I'm connecting the battery and then I'm plugging in the charger you can see I was uh, at 0 0.01 milliamps now I'm at 0 0.016 milliamp dropping coming back down and you can see my uh, light is still white so white light blinking so nothing has changed now if I connect a working battery this is a working battery I'm going to connect this battery to this board now and I want to check if anything has changed so you can see we were at 0 0.011 milliamps now we are at 0 0.016 milliamps if something changes you can see now is 0.167 milliamps and is taking the load of 3 watts and you can see this battery light has changed also so there is an effect on the light as well so these are the basic symptoms or signals or you know like basic signs you can test if your battery is charging now so obviously something has changed you can see from white it has changed to yellow, uh, orange that means something has changed and the load is taking some load as well unfortunately with your home chargers the chargers that come with the laptop you can't get these readings so you won't be able to uh, differentiate much but you could uh, check with the light though I mean if uh, you connect a charger and you get uh, white light and you change the battery and it comes orange that means it started to charge okay the problem comes when you have not bought the battery yet now this one battery is faulty battery and you want to decide shall I go for to buy a new battery or not so at that point what condition we are at we are look um, if I connect this battery in here and connect the charger so one thing we know that from white it has not changed there is no load on it so obviously now there is a problem um, something is not happening um, it's not charging the battery in these cases what we need to do now at this point we are assuming that we do not have a working battery and we are we want to find out shall i go to repair the board to check the board now 
we cannot just check the battery like with the multimeter that is a good battery or not because there is some circuitry inside involved uh, that protects this battery with multimeter is not possible there are some other tools that can read the battery and but they are expensive there's some other thing just if you want to save your time and money connect the battery to the board and check it on the board if it is working so we know one thing is for sure that it's not taking any load at the moment this battery is not taking any charge now it is possible that our board is faulty also so how we check the board so to check the board i'll take you into the microscope and our battery is connected charger is connected and you don't have a good view <laughs> okay let me just fix this for you guys so we are in the microscope now and this is how you can test if you have a working battery so what we will check first that do we have our 19 volt coming through this charging port so if I connect one probe here and one here and you can see we have 19 volt coming next thing this 19 volt going into this MOSFET so we'll check this MOSFET now is it going here yes it is and we will check the gate power supply what is the gate power supply so it's 3.0 so now we know that this is a P channel MOSFET a P channel MOSFET works on a positive, I mean, lower voltage than the given voltage. For example, now we are giving 19 volts, so it anything lower than 19, 3 volt, 5, 5 volts, 7 volts, it should work. But if we are giving 19 volt and you get 19 volt on the gate power supply, that means there is something wrong. You need to check. This MOSFET could be faulty. So okay, let's let's go ahead check this one now. So we have this MOSFET coming up 19 volt, gate power supply 3 volt, so it's a P-channel MOSFET, the power supply comes here now, 19 volt, comes here, and now it comes here, and if it is P-channel, then it will be lower voltage, which uh, we see 1.74, this is perfectly fine, and now the then we have a current sensing resistor. At current sensing resistor we are getting 19 volts so our this section is pretty good there is no issues here after current sen sensing resistors we have uh, 18.9 at this point so which this area is also okay now next thing we are going to test what happens when this power supply goes towards the battery MOSFET uh, so this is the battery MOSFET you can see here in this uh, MOSFET we will receive 19 volt you know that 19 volt that was going past this uh, current sensing resistor after current sensing resistor it comes here at this point so you can see here we have 19 volt here after the current sensing resistor battery now this battery MOSFET here is receiving 19 volt and then we have a gate power supply so look here is 18.94 and this power is 18.48 as it looks it's not allowing any power to go towards this battery so you can see here again so you see here there is no power is only one volt one volt is almost like nothing so this gate power supply is not allowing the power to go past this section here other things we can check we are receiving 1 volt at these battery pins here and then we are receiving 3.3 and another 3.3 and this is another 3.3 and this is 1.1 volt so these are all 4 pins 1, 2, 3 and 4 they are uh, SDA, SCL, battery identification, battery present these t uh, sort of pins these are the signal that that communicate with the battery like uh, SDA is the data line it uh, it will um, talk to the uh, charging IC and uh, your um, super IO gets involved in this uh, um, charging where you know this communication happens and the super IO can sense and talk to the battery how much power is sub is this battery requires and then accordingly it gives instruction to the charging IC and charging IC generates these power and those power come to the battery 
battery pins. Now, SDA is the data pin, SCL is the clock pin, battery identification is another pin, and battery present is another pin. So, if let's say if your battery is not connected, then the battery present present will be up, and when the battery is connected, then the battery present power will be low. So the super io can sense all these uh, whatever is happening low and high signal but uh, super io can sense this and accordingly it will charge the battery so in in this faulty battery you can see when i connect the battery and i put the charger in we are only receiving one volt here so at this point um let's say your battery is 9 volt battery so your when the charger is connected your power should be 10 volt 1 volt higher than whatever the battery voltage is so for example if my battery is 9 volt then we should have 10 volts available at this pin let's see here so these are the ground pins there is no effect on these now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect a working battery and we will see how things will change now so you can see if i connect a charger only and not the battery yet so you can see we have what do we have now we have one volt available you can see 3.3 available 3.3 available 3.3 is available so and after that we have battery identification pin so 3.3 that's fine now when I connect the battery these signals should change so we had 3.3 here 3.3 here 3.3 here and 1.1 so this is possibly battery present pin this um, 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 number 6 pin is a battery present pin and this one is probably battery identification pin and uh, we have SDA and SCL on these two pins and if you see the voltages these are 8.1 so our battery has started to charge now so one more thing that you can test is uh, what happens when your battery is good and your charger is good and when the charging supply comes towards these uh, battery pins so what happens what sort of behavior uh, is present at these battery pins so for example right now i've got the battery connected only and this is a good working battery and i'll check what sort of voltages i'm getting i'm getting 1.5 and dropping so you can see the voltages are dropping from 1.5 is 1.41 1.40 so now if i connect the charger and you can see that these voltages uh, which 1.4 was available is is increasing now so the charging section is doing its job and is went to a value where it has already talked to the battery that what sort of uh, power is uh, this what sort of power this battery can take and uh, super io and the battery has had this communication that what sort of battery it is and how we are supposed to charge it now uh, this is uh, 8 volt battery and our voltages available at the battery pins are 8.4 so anything above 8 is uh, it can go into this battery so if the battery is fully charged and it's got 8 volt then charging IC can also deliver 9 volts towards the battery so it will never be the less voltage than what the battery already has for example if the battery has 5 volt then the uh, charging power will be 8.4 8.3 something like this but if your battery is 8 volt charge then your power coming towards the battery pins will be 9 volts so 1 volt higher than what the maximum capacity it has and obviously 
that this communication is also present at the battery icon where you can click and check that uh, what sort of percentage of the battery is available how much it's charged and how long it's going to take to charge and this information is available with the sd and scl pin super io these two ic's they communicate together uh, when i say ic means i mean the ic inside the battery and the i uh, the super io will communicate together and they will provide us this information that what voltages are available how long it's gonna get take to charge so this is a small video and uh, i was just trying to explain how the battery behaves when you plug into the laptop and how you can diagnose if your battery is really not working it's about time you change the battery thank you very much thank you for watching i hope you have learned something from this video like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments if you have any questions in the comment section thank you very much